We're Eamon and Beck, and we've spent the last two months driving our van around Europe. And if there's one place we've been a little extra excited to visit, it's Spain. Maybe it's because we'll get to brush up on some eh, Spanish. For eh. mañana, <laughs> woo! Vamos! <laughs> or maybe it's because this guy's heard all about its world-class kiteboarding. But our excitement has been met with equal parts nerves. So I'm just like a whole big stress bag. As we've heard a lot of stories of pickpocketers and van breaking. First, is the van still here? I thought maybe it could be towed. <laughs> so dramatic. Today, we head to the capital city to discover all of this for ourselves. Good morning, bud. Good morning, bud. Ouch. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to fan life. <laughs> I'm feeling real, real, real good being back in the van. We uh, have been in Lisbon a little bit longer than expected, and that's because we had some issues with our exhaust. It has been a long overdue project. It's actually something I was aware of back when we replaced the motor in Mexico. So it feels really good. We got a brand new exhaust tailpipe and the old girl is humming. <laughs> Trinity is ready for Morocco. Don't but we're not going to Morocco yet. <laughs> um, we just wanted to get her fully road ready. We're feeling very confident. Uh, we are going to an M town and her name's Madrid. <laughs> might have noticed a new coffee technique and we're using the AeroPress and what we do is we make like one really big strong shot and then split it and you can get two coffees out of the AeroPress. I like mine just with water and then also Melissa Maroney brought us a chai walla for pot. We forgot it when we shipped it over. Mm, it's um, so nice to have it back. Yeah, we've been missing it so much because Becca likes it with milk because she likes to heat up her milk. And we only have a big pot, so I'm gonna heat up some milk for my buddy. Thanks, bud. Do we have milk? You know, it's little things like this, having a coffee down by the water every day, that I think add up to a larger sense of happiness. And it's and it's little thing like that that everyone, I think, watching this could do, is make yourself a coffee, put it in a thermos or a takeaway cup, and walk down to the park and enjoy it. And I think there's something special about making your coffee yourself you'll find out exactly what you like what you don't like this grass is soaking wet but it kind of feels good on my feet and yeah I think it's a great way to start the morning thanks for a little date morning date at the beach Look at you. You're not cute and stuff. Is it romance day today? Every day's a romance day with me. Oh, <laughs> oh Eamon the chugger. Oh my god. So good? Huge brain freeze. <laughs> Long road trip, check your tire pressure. It's very inefficient to have a low tire pressure. Doesn't take long for the two of us to get 
hungry. So we're going to stop at a random truck spot just off of the motorway and make some brunch. Uh, Lunch? How are you feeling, driver? Feeling great. I'm not sure what we got to eat, though. We've got peppers, potatoes. We've also got tofu. Mm, we can tofu do like scramble. With on potato, like boiled yeah. potato. Now I know that Eamon on this channel gets a lot of love for his cooking skills, but I'd just like to give myself a shout out because <laughs> without my sous chefery and all of the times I chop all the veggies and prep everything for him. You can't give yourself a shout I'm out. I'm giving myself a shout out and I'm giving all the sous chefs out there a shout out. Yeah, you guys can't even see my head. You know what I mean. Are you a sous chef or a chef? We're not necessarily going oil free, but I would say we're just a little bit more aware of how much oil we're using. So we tried to make this whole meal oil. sans oil. We've been listening to so many podcasts lately about like health and wellness and whether it's mental health or food and what you're putting in your body. And we're just conscious, aren't we, bud? We're trying to be conscious. So this one is topped with arugula, the potatoes, and then like a tofu scramble that almost looks like a chili. It's got some nice red kidney beans. How is that? Awesome. Mm. And then we're using a lot more spice. So even on the potatoes, just like salt, pepper, I like a little bit more flavor. So I put like garlic, <laughs> rosemary, thyme. You put every spice on our magnetized beautiful. thing. Mm. Beautiful. And while our food was cooking, we came up with a plan for the rest of the day. We'll tell you after lunch. First, we just need to fill up with water. Stock up on groceries. And next up, a two hour drive. To this amazing camp spot. Wow. Another one of our park for night finds. This guy was a little bit off the beaten path. It was like 40 minutes down this bumpy and private -ish Come to think of it, road. I think we read that it was four by four. <laughs> Excuse me, bud. That's poop. inappropriate. Poop with a view, huh? Yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> Excuse oh. me. <laughs> you can come a little bit this Stop way. Stop making me <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> I'm gonna lead us through some yoga. Oh, babe. You can't blame farts in yoga. You're right. You're totally allowed to be farting. I can do that. <laughs> uh oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Uh oh. <laughs> buddy! You're being very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> is that you? That got dark really quickly and as you can see Amy and I were in a silly mood so we didn't get the workout we were looking for today but we did get some movement in which felt really good. We've just come back into the van, made some tea, Amy and ate some cereal and now I'm going to try to convince him to watch my favorite show. If you're not sure what Beck's favorite show is. My current favorite show is The Block. I'm so into this season. I also love this show. It's a home it's a reno classic. show. We watched it all the time when we lived in Australia. Australia. And the only reason I can watch it today and from Spain or Canada or wherever else in the world we are is because of our Surfshark VPN. Okay, so you've maybe heard us talk about Surfshark before, but if you're not sure what that means or what that is, it's basically a VPN and it's not just to be able to trick your computer into watching shows from different countries. But it's a plus. <laughs> it's a privacy and security software. So anytime you're on an open Wi-Fi network, technically you're at the risk of someone being able to log in your computer if they're on the same network. Yeah, it's like sharing all of your information with strangers so this keeps everything safe, whether you want to do online banking or you're just sharing passwords or whatever. You don't want 
strangers to see that. Big thank you to Surfshark for supporting our channel and yet again sponsoring today's video. Because we've teamed up with them, they are giving you guys an exclusive offer. You get 83% off of your Surfshark VPN cost as well as one month for free. So if you guys travel or you just wanna catch up on the show that I'm in love with, head to Surfshark VPN, it will be linked in the description. And the best part is guys, it's totally seamless. So whether you have it on your phone or your computer, you literally just join the the network and it automatically does it. It's yeah. not like you need to like sign in or, or anything like that. It's the easiest software to use. Safe surfing and uh, should we get into the block? Previously on the block. Massive, massive master on the way. Hard, very hard. Good morning, good afternoon, good day, wherever you are in the world. Oh, we're here at this lake. Let's get after it. We have had quite the productive morning. We had a great workout. I made us a recovery smoothie and Eamon even had time to fit in a shower. Now we are gonna go and enjoy the beach and this beautiful camp spot, but the more we look around, the more garbage we see, so we feel like it's the least we can do to try to clean it up a little, so we've got a garbage bag. We're gonna hit the beach. Full bag from me. Full I got more bag. than you. <laughs> We're gonna put it on what we call our trasheroo and bring it back into town and dispose of it. Challenge everyone, bud. So even if it's just two or three pieces, you, you on the way back from your beach, throw it in your pocket, then dispose of it. If we all did that, well, if we all didn't do this, it'd make a big difference. But in a lot of these countries, it's just poor educations, young people that don't give a crap, that don't think about it, and uh, unfortunately, it takes people who know better to, I guess, change the world. <laughs> <laughs> as much as we loved van life in the UK, and we really truly did, we've been loving van life in these warmer climates just because we can introduce fruits and fresh salads and all of those cravings have come back. So I'm gonna do these dishes, cut up this watermelon, make a fruit salad with pomegranate and grapefruit and oh goodness, how good is life? How good is that sound? So I think we're gonna finish up this little uh, snack Bex whipped up because we've got a bit of a drive. It's still two hours into Madrid and we've got nothing planned, but you know, that's the way we like it. So hopefully we can get out of here. Oh, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Yeah, it wasn't so bad. With a little bit of rain though, that could have been... Danger? Yeah. Okay, now just a 40 minute bumpy ride back to the main highway. <laughs> Nothing like a bumpy ride to... Woo! Keep you on edge, huh? Doing a little cardio? Yay! <laughs> Why am I so out of breath? Okay, 40 minute bumpy ride. Also, Eamon stepped on these sunglasses yesterday and all day I kept wearing them thinking they didn't look that bad. <laughs> And he kept being like, oh babe, you're gonna keep wearing those? I'm like, yeah, of course, why not? And then I caught a glimpse of myself. <laughs> Wait, baby, have you told them about our new favorite snack? Oh my gosh, no, tell them. Apparently this is actually a very common snack in the Mediterranean. They're called Zucchini beans. You can buy them in a jar, and then you need to like... Ew. DC them, and pop them in your mouth. A, I love snacks like that where you have to like work for it. B, they literally, wait don't do that yet. I'm ruining my lighting. They literally taste like cheesies. 
They're so flipping good. I'm gonna make an epic recipe with these. We've already had an entire jar in one day. We didn't even know what they were. We saw them at the grocery store. We're like, those look interesting. Yeah. Wow. Now we can't live without them. Wow. I hope Toronto has lots of them. Ew, honestly, your chewing is so gross though. Okay, I'll just go home and sit on the sidewalk. Oh. <laughs> and the rain is looking like it might hold off, which would be amazing. It's cooled off a little bit, hasn't it? Yeah, it called for rain all day today, all day tomorrow. We still got that garbage on the back of the van. Should be all right. Here we are, we're gonna pay for parking and hopefully we don't go broke doing that. Doing so, doing that. What would you do if we came back in our van that's like that? Well, I would say we saved a lot of money in a funky paint job. <laughs> and I'd have to embrace it. Love it, nice van bro. minute walk from the car and we have arrived to Plaza Mayor. I'd just like to point out that Eamon has planned this whole afternoon so I'm giddy with excitement loving all these stops. <laughs> this stop is like the city center. It was once used for big public events like crowning in ceremonies. They would have markets here where you could buy food and other goods. They had executions, public executions, as well as bullfights. So it's I mean, those things aren't happening today, I don't think, but it's got like a still a very central feel to it. Definitely it? a central feel, a little bit touristy, a lot of shops selling uh, different goods, foods, ice cream, souvenirs, stuff like that. And then there's actually like three stories of what we think are residential properties that wrap around the entire place. This city, I have to say, is beautiful. It's impressing, isn't it? Very impressive. <laughs> All right, let's explore. really worried this thing was gonna fall. I had it mounted just on this here. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that now. Mm, I noticed that too. We're starting to build up a little bit of an appetite and I looked up a vegan restaurant that does tapas. Enter El <laughs> we might be early. <laughs> what a cool spot though, huh? Yeah, it's beautiful. We have the e extreme pleasure of being the only guests at the moment, so we had <laughs> great service and we just said, please order us whatever you think we'll like. Um, we're really open, it's all vegan, so we have no worries. Um, we've got raw cheese board coming, tacos, some tartare. Should be interesting. Oh, wow. Oh, smokes. So. These two are like blue cheese. How do you say black coffee? Cafe Negro. <laughs> I'm always so surprised. <laughs> Lettuce? Lechuga. That's easy. <laughs> um, grandma? Hmm? Grandma? Grandma. I know this one. La... Abuela. 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 How do you just say food? Food in general. Comida. Uh, yes. No. Yeah? Comida? Comida? And kitchen is comida, no? No, kitchen is. Kitchen is. Cocina. <laughs> <laughs> Too much? No, no it's, it's good. okay. It's we good. can do it. Cuchara. 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 And. Cuchara, cuchillo, cenador. Well, the food was amazing. Thank you very much, Thank Francisco. You. Thank Take you. care, brother. Bye. Hasta Thank you so much. All right, one Spanish lesson and a meal later. That was so great. You know, I was gonna say, Eamon and I have this restaurant Hold on, room. we're blue, we're blue. I don't oh. know, whenever I leave a building, it always goes blue, hold on. There. We typically have this rule, we don't dine at a place unless there are other people dining there. It's sort of like a symbol of like, good oh, point. this will be good. I didn't even think about that. But we went in because we had read about it and we knew it was vegan and whatever. And it was such a great experience because Francisco was so lovely. He spent mm -hmm. so much time with us, helped us order, helped us learn Spanish. Like it was just such a fun experience to be really the only ones in the restaurant. Yeah, so who knows? Maybe we got the rule all backwards. We, I mean, that's what life's all about. It's just <laughs> changing your mind on what you think your rules should be. Right? No, I think that rule oh, came we're into super play. Blurry. 
Come on, GH5, <laughs> what are you doing? I think the rule came really into play in Asia when yeah. there's a lot of restaurant options and you look at them and you're like, mm, I'm not Which sure how fresh good. that food is. Plus, I don't even think we used like trip advice. We didn't use anything back then. To no. We would just walk around. So. Exact, the mando. Alrighty. Okay, I'm pretty stoked because the third part of the tour, the grand tour that I've you planned, amazing. is this awesome graffiti alley. So we'll check our uh, graffiti center. Or maybe it's just a building that they took over and graffitied. <laughs> I haven't done a lot of research, but it looks dope, and I'll meet you there. Buddy? Where are you taking me? Watch your head. So this place is actually a designated cultural arts building. It used to be a tobacco factory back in 2006, I believe. And now it's run by the Society of Culture here in Madrid. So it's a very, very interesting space. There's art all over the place. Um, it reeks of pot. And there's just people and artists kind of taking photos and it's pretty cool. And, and some really talented artists. So I yeah. think this allows them to showcase their work in a legal setting. I feel like you as a kid, like your mom has this exact artwork, not as good, but hanging downstairs. So Did you, you say kind not of, as good? Not as good as this, no. Look at her eyes. Yeah, I was never good at drawing eyes. <laughs> If anybody's ever in Madrid, come down to the basement of this place and take a photo in front of this. Perfect. <laughs> That's so great. It really matches the color here. Nice. So it's by the fire extinguisher, right by the theater room. <laughs> I would say that's got to be one of the more interesting places on planet Earth. Yeah, <laughs> let alone uh, in Madrid. Just the fact that 2019, the government still supports that. And there's no like police or like security. You just roll in, everyone's chilling. Um, the vibe's good too. It's not like there's like a, a weird vibe. So yeah, come check it out. This is the name of it. I have a hard time saying it. <laughs> this is always the moment of truth. Like, is the van going to be okay? First Signings first, is the van still here? I thought maybe it could be towed. <laughs> so dramatic. I know, I know it's dramatic, but this is just what goes through my head because I'm so freaked out by people who write to me saying these crazy things. I saw a love letter on the front of the yeah, windshield. But it turns out we did get a love letter. Quanto? One euro? <laughs> oh man, maybe we should leave him a tip too. Hello, beautiful. All right, so we've just driven uh, to a park for night spot not far from where we actually parked the van. It's a pretty sweet spot. And if you go further up here. You can almost see the entire city from this vantage point. Van's right there, beautiful sunset. Another wonderful day, babe. Oh, killing it. Are you guys staying there tonight? No, hablamos inglés. No, are you sleeping here tonight? Oh. No. no, mañana sí. Se puede, pero tranquilo. Okay. Ah, sí, uh, be quiet. Vale. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sin sacar sillas. Okay. Vale. Dormir tranquilo. Sí. Y sin hacer mucho eh, ruido, mucha bulla, mucho. Está bien para una noche tranquilo. Claro. Eh, sí. eh, mañana por la mañana. <laughs> <laughs> David, you're an absolute legend. It's so funny because we got back to the van and had a parking ticket, but it was only for a euro, which didn't really make sense to us. <laughs> I'm filming you saying thank you. We just got a message from one of our community peeps, and he was he spotted the van, I guess, while we were yeah. out and noticed that we were getting a parking ticket. He stopped the parking cop and actually paid the ticket price for us. So I guess that's why I was only well, he didn't a year. the ticket. He put more money in the machine to Oh, yeah. what a guy. I'm like so overwhelmed by how amazing our community. Our community is, is. it's ridiculous and we've met so many of you across Portugal and Spain and England and Ireland and we're like so international. It's so it's cool. It's the coolest thing. So we love you guys. Thanks Jeez, so much. Jeez, that is putting us to bed in such a good mood. That <laughs> and 
We're watching another episode of Blah. We can't afford this data, dude. I'm not even watching another episode. Okay, bye!